As I look back over my life And see where I have been Jesus, I praise you That I'm not stuck in sin But way down in my spirit One praise is not So I lift my hands and give you praise for everything you do.
Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. Today, we are talking about Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 20. And the topic for today is... Remember the Lord thy God and Israel's rebellions reviewed. Remember the Lord thy God and Israel's rebellions reviewed. Okay, so why don't you get your coffee, tea, donuts, whatever you may eat in at whatever time you are listening to this podcast episode. And I need you to get your tablets, cell phones, Bibles, however you may read your word. And I want you to join me in this deep conversation of Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 20. And we are going to be speaking about, remember the Lord thy God and Israel, Israel's rebellions reviewed. All right now, come on now, let's get busy. All right now, let's get into this word, Deuteronomy chapter 8, 1 through 20, and it reads, All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no and he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manner which thou knewest not neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Thy remnant wax not old upon thee, neither did thy feet swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and of depths depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, olive, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Least when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built 
goodly houses and dwelt therein. And when thine herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart is lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end. And thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand have gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be that thou do at do at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which the Lord destroyed destroyed it before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye will not be obedient unto the work to unto the voice of the Lord your God. I have just read Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 20. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have given us, all that you have uh, just, mm -mm -mm, you have done for us just this day. Lord, that we pray that you keep us holy, you keep us in your your heart, you keep us in in your thoughts. And you give us a future that is everlasting through generation and generations. Lord, we thank you for all that you have given us. In these things, we do pray. Thank you, Lord, for the breath in our bodies and activity of our limbs. And we are in our right minds just for the day, Lord. May you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Now we see in this chapter, Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 20, we see that um, it says, remember the Lord thy God. Remember the Lord thy God. It says, all the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy father know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, but by the every word, it says every word, that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord that doth man live. Let's sum it up in one word. Okay. Everything that come out my mouth, that you have your blessing. I choose you as a people. And 
I want you to know that you don't live by bread alone. You don't live by the manna or the food that I provide. You live by what I say out of my mouth. What proceeded out of what I speak upon you. What I speak out of my mouth. I'm going to show you through my words. I'm going to show you through my words and actions that I will keep you and sustain you. Not just give you what you want when you need it, but give you some knowledge and substance and teach you some things and and, 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 and speak life over you and speak abundance into you and, 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 and speak knowledge unto you. You know, and that just brings out the saying that says, be careful because this mouth is a two edged sword. Be careful what you say when you say it. Because sometimes you can turn around and cut a person or you can give them life. It, life, and, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. And sometimes that's what we forget. That sometimes we raise our children and we tell them and we say things to them. And, and it, we wonder, you know, do you even like me? You know, do you even love me? You know, when you, you say, boy, you so stupid, you know, just that, you, know, you keep saying that over and over again to a child, they'll start believing that. You know, I'm saying, I'm intelligent, or oh, you're intelligent, you're smart, I know you can do it. No words of encouragement. Sometimes we could, we could be, we got to be careful what we say out our mouth to people. Because what you say can cut them down. And make them feel, or you could belittle a person by something you say, or you can lift up their spirits by what you can say. I remember one time I walked into church. I was, I was, I was going, I was attending, I was going to church one Sunday. And I decided to go ahead and put on my good suit, right? <laughs> put on my good suit because I used to sing in the singing group and we had nice, pretty outfits. And I still have my outfits. And the pastor came up to me, the bishop, and she said, Oh, you all you you all dressed up today. You can't speak to nobody. I was like, really? I I, I you know, I you know, me as a person is I'm always listening. I've always been a listener to what people say to me. And sometimes God has given me the discernment to ignore some stuff people say to me because I will forget my religion in a minute by what you say to me. And I was taken back with that, but I didn't feed into that. I was offended in my spirit, but I was like, I ain't even, you know, I ain't even worry about it. You know, I'm not, I, I dwelled on it for a minute. I ain't going to see in lie. I dwelled on that. Because I thought that was real nasty. I thought it was, to me, it sounded really like kind of picking. And I realized, I said, you know what? That's what made me think of this. Death, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Sometimes you can say some stuff to people in church and then turn around and send them running right out the door. For y'all leaders. You don't know where that person mind at. You don't know where they mind at. And sometimes you can turn around and say the right thing and keep the person in church. And we got, I'm, I'm going to say this. Sometimes ministers, leaders, bishops, whoever you are, Whatever your title is. I don't even know. I'm going to say everybody. Everybody. I ain't going to give you no title. I'm going to just say everybody. You got to be careful how you talk to people. You got to be careful. You got to pay attention. You got to, you know, and and some, and, and I realized this in life, some people you just ain't going to make happy with anything you say to them because they're going to always find fault in what you say. Okay? You know, they, 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 you know, and they all had to do something with their upbringing. 
because they've been put down so many times or they've been told they're stupid or they're dumb or or not been paid attention or when they were spoken to they were spoken to harshly or you know and, and you gotta you gotta watch that bot that that you know what you say you know and then you gotta see the reaction you get when you speak to folks too the reaction you get when you say something to them pay attention body language and God says, this is what I want you to do when it comes to me. I want you to remember me. Not for what I did for you. About It was about what I said. I want you to let you know that you don't live by bread alone. I'm not just, just feeding you to give you nerve. I'm, I'm, I'm out. The, it, uh, the words that proceeded out of my mouth, out of his mouth, were so... Uh, um, truth and up front, up front, and sometimes we can't get, a, and sometimes we can't get offended when when God when God tell us something we don't want to hear. Well, He don't answer our prayers the way we thought He should. You know, um, and sometimes life is like that. We're not going to get everything we want. God is powerful. God can wish you life or death upon you if you don't watch it. And then it also comes with you just can't depend on God to give, give, give. You got to give something too. You got to, you got to, you got to work with this. You got to have a relationship with the Lord for Him to work with your blessings, to give you your blessings. And you got to be obedient. You can't get one without the other. You can't. Remember, remember, God has, God has all power in His hands. All power. Sometimes we just got to learn how to just keep it moving. You know, just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. And sometimes that's how life is. You got to learn how to, you know, take the good comments with the bad comments and disciple and have discernment with it. Like I said, be careful what you say to people because it could trigger them and send them somewhere else. And, and you, the power lies within what you say in this, this, this mouthpiece here, this mouthpiece. And then, you you know, you got to be careful. I'm a, I, I'll say this. This mouthpiece of ours can get us in a lot of trouble. It can get us in a lot of trouble, or it could talk us, it could, it could pray us out of some things. It could, you know, pray. What comes out of your mouth? Do you pray all the time? Do you worship the Lord all the time? Do you, do you have good thoughts that come out of this mouthpiece? Or do you sustain, or are you just always condemning people or talking about people or gossiping about somebody? Or, you know, do you have anything good to say? And that also comes with standing with people too. God stood with the children of Israel for stood with them all that time through their mess. They didn't listen, they were hard headed. He's like, okay, all right now. I'ma still be here, regardless of what you're doing. But he was trying to teach the children something, trying to teach them that I'm not just gonna give you feed you. I'm not just here for substance. I'm here to teach you something. Here to give you words of wisdom that'll prolong your life. Sometimes we get that we, we get that really twisted. You know, 
Because sometimes your words can have somebody go out here and commit suicide. And sometimes your words can change a person's mind, heart, and spirit that they want a better life. Or they'll go seek help or therapy. Or they'll give their life to God. Or your, your, your tongue got a lot of power to it. I'm telling you. So the next time you think about what you're going to say to somebody, sometimes count to 10 before you speak. I always count to 10. I do. I always count to 10. And sometimes God says, don't even say nothing. Don't say, don't, don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste, don't waste your breath on it. Because God, when you walk with God, God gives you discernment when to say things and when not to say things. That's why they always say, hey, be careful what you say to folks. You know, that's 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 another saying. Be careful how you treat people. When you talk down to them one minute and then you need them the next. And after a while, a person will get tired of you treating them that way. One minute is, oh, they're giving you all the accolades and praises and all this other stuff. And then the next minute, you putting them down. You stupid and you, you ain't this and you ain't that. And, and then the next five minutes, oh, can you do this for me? Be careful. That also how you treat people. That mouth has a it's terrible. That mouth can be a, 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 a wonderful thing, and your mouth can turn around and have somebody thinking, dang, you know, is this how you really feel about me? It don't feel good. It don't, it does not, I'm gonna tell you from personal experience. It does not feel good when someone when someone says, Oh, you all this and you done this and you marvelous and, and they give you all these praises and all this and then the next next five, ten minutes they're talking about you ain't this, you ain't that. Child, let me tell you, I've experienced that and I do not like people that do that. I don't like the two faced in this. And people like that, I don't mess with. Because if they do that to you, think about what they do to other people when they're around them. Think about how they speak about you around other people. Because what you're doing is you telling me who you really are. You got double, you double-minded. Either I'm gonna be a good person to you or I'm gonna be a bad person. Don't make don't don't get that, don't do that to people. One minute you giving them praise, and the next minute you're talking about them like a dog. It ain't gonna work. That's like like gossiping. Or telling lies, fibs on people to make you look good. But really, it's not them, it's you. That's the problem. Ooh, did I step on somebody's toes? I have learned in this ministry that I have to tell the truth and shame the devil. Because ain't nothing worse than a fake person, a person that's skinning and grinning in your face and then talking behind your back. Hey, you look nice, you know, and then be like, oh, when did she get that from the flea market? Don't do people like that. Don't, 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 you, don't, don't. Words are a powerful thing. You could, you can, you can. Life or death. Life or death. Life or death. In the power of the tongue. Cause when I was growing up, I used to hear I was stupid. You ain't never gonna amount to anything. I've been called some other nasty names by people that I thought loved me. And they were related to me. Like second generation related. First generation. She ain't never gonna amount to nothing. She ain't gonna be nothing. 
she she ain't did she did she that. But then they had the nerve to ask me, can I do something for them? Who does that to people? One minute is life, next minute is death. Like, make up your mind. Like I said, be kind and think about the words before you say them to people. Okay? I want y'all to have a blessed day. And I love y'all. And thank you for listening to Daily Devotional for today. Okay? Um, If you have any questions, let me know. You can send me a email. I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com. You can leave a message in my message board. Oh, also, please subscribe to my e- to my newsletter. I will be sending out newsletters uh, next month. We start sending them out in June, okay? So, I need your email addresses. So, subscribe to my website. Subscribe to the newsletter, okay? I want to say thank you for listening to this podcast. I want to say thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing. And if you would like to donate to this podcast, you can donate through Cash App. Dollar sign Sharice Johnson Moore. Okay? You can send your donations through Cash App. If you like this broadcast and you would love to support this broadcast, you can send it to Cash App. Dollar sign Sharice Johnson Moore. Okay? All spelled with capital letters. Okay, all right, and I will love you again, and I would love you to keep listening. And if you would like to be a guest on my show, any of my programs, um, let me know, and we'll sit down, and we'll we'll get to talking. We'll talk. Um, you know, I'm about to do some new things, some different things. Um, you know, and I'm going to. You know, just, I'm, I, I'll let y'all know about those new things coming soon, okay? All right, don't forget to go check out the website. It's up and running, uh, www.shereesnjohnsonmore.com, and tell me what you think, all right? I love y'all. Bye, babies. Hello everyone and welcome to LBM TV. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, owner and CEO of LBM TV. Here at LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally. We're located on C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy a positive, uplifting program for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you. Thank you.